Welcome to episode 36. Today we rip out a power plant and replace it with a nuclear reactor and have many incidents, among other things, as this baby is due to be born. So let's do what we normally do, collect everything across the vault. Oh, Henry Gaming has just been born. Uh, you may well recognize that because that uh, is all gaming's uh, child. So let's collect all of our resources. And we've got another baby. It's Amy Lynch. Okay, we've got somebody to come from the wasteland. Might as well bring those in in a moment. But first, let's collect our skills. And we have another max endurance. Okay, so strength and endurance. Let's uh, go and plop her into a power facility. Uh, deciding which one, I think the nuke reactor is probably the best place. And let's continue collecting those skills. Okay, perception, perception, uh, intelligence, and charisma. And last but not least, luck, because our bottom endurance room is completely empty. Let's have a look. We've got in intelligence, agility, intelligence, intelligence, agility, and strength. And not much of anything. Okay, so this chap here with his high intelligence. And we've got high intelligence here, but no guns. Uh, let's maybe change room. There we go. We've got a couple dancing somewhere, clearly, uh, in one of the living quarters from the previous episode. And let's uh, have a look if we want to sort out these people. Let's move him to endurance as well. And she can probably stay where she is. Or we can move her to charisma and swap over this guy. And yep, his charisma is pretty much maxed out, so that's not a bad swap. And uh, let's have a look at this guy. His luck is not particularly high yet. Okay, let's collect some resources. I do hope everyone is having a fantastic time watching this series. And I certainly appreciate all of you who are following this through episode by episode. Of course, back to endurance where let's collect our stuff from our quest. Oh, nice. Minutemen Diner recipe fragment but not a lot else okay we've got some leveling up to do so again endurance wear level up and flick it back to the outfit that they were wearing so handyman outfit and drag the person down to endurance there we go because they've got shockingly bad endurance we've got a grown-up here who is uh, probably let's drag you to endurance as well I think that will do nicely okay Right, we've got a Deathclaw attack incoming. As I said, Deathclaw attack incoming. Let's uh, see if we can get our quest squatters into the room before they get through our reinforced door. And no. So let's see if we can get them across there. And what we'll do is we'll get her or him, I don't know whether it's her or him, into the storage room. Okay, and collect our resources, of course, while looking for the third person on the quest squad who of course has just come into the vault, but has mysteriously vanished uh, without trace. Uh, there they are. Okay, so that's our entire quest squad now going to be in the warehouse, uh, which should deal some high-level damage to the Death Claws. Because our weapons are reasonable in the radio rooms, but as of yet, they are not spectacular. So here we go, we've got all in here. So there's going to be a lot of death and destruction now of these Death Claws. Hopefully one of them will be dead. Uh, before they leave this room. We'll find out in a moment. The multiple flamethrowers, everything else. No, nope, no, nope, they did not make it. Okay, let's drag our quest squatters through. Come on, one of them's got to be dying. Okay, let's move our other quest squatters across. Wow, there's still three death claws. My goodness, how much health do these guys have? Oh, there we go, one is dead. Come on, kill another one. Kill another one. My goodness. The Death Claws on quests are way easier to kill than the ones that decide to rip through your vault, stealing all of your food. Okay, again, let's move some people around. At least we've got laser pistols in this room, so it's uh, a bit more likely uh, that we'll be able to get them killed. In fact, I think that's it. They're all dead. There we go. So I didn't get quite as far this time. The guys in the diner get a nice little boost. And there we go. Let's call in our extra dweller from the wasteland. And it is Carol Sutton. 
Okay, Carol, we're going to get you placed into a training room immediately because your special stats are pants. Okay, we've got somebody else to level up, so let's go for the endurance wear. Level up and swap them back over into a lab coat. Okay, we've got another one here, and let's skip forwards, and let's send our quest squad out on another quest. Now, that gets us three Nuka-Cola Quantums, uh, so I'd say that's a good daily quest to do. So there's one, two, and three. You'll notice they're all back at full health as well. Uh, I just cut out the bit of footage where we were leveling up some more dwellers, uh, you know, the unnecessary stuff. This episode, by the way, runs to about 18, 19 minutes, uh, so it's a fairly long episode, but not too long. Let's rush the room for food. And of course it failed. Why would it be successful? And it's rad scorpions. Just, just magic. Just absolute magic. The game hates me. Okay, guys, get ready to get completely irradiated while trying to kill the invulnerable Rad Scorpion that can take the punishing attack of 400,000 guns and it doesn't die. These things are actually true beasts, they really are. Um, first of all, they move around your vault. Second of all, they cause huge amounts of radiation damage. Thirdly, of course, uh, they are very, very tough. They, I would even go as far as saying that they are tougher than Deathclaws. Uh, let's bring these guys across. I don't know if all of them have got weapons. Uh, nope, that's it. They're already moving. And come on, let's drag all these guys in. I don't know what guns they've got again. And they're going to get radiated. It's fine. Maybe. Maybe not. We've got a lot of radaways, so it's fine. Come on, die already. Let's uh, do some upgraded guns. Is it done? Is it gone? No, it's going to another room. Well, at least it's going to a populated room. So we're going to have radiation plenty across our entire vault, uh, which is a bit less than ideal, but again, it is what it is. Come on, seriously. You've been through three rooms. We're about to run out of power because you, one Rad Scorpion, are invincible. And what, another Rad Scorpion attack? Are you kidding me? No, actually, because it happened while there was already one going, uh, we managed to actually deal with two, in effect. Huh, interesting. Okay, right away for you, sir. Let's uh, go through. It just speeds up the recovery process, and there's the mysterious stranger, just while I'm in the process of recovering our vault dwellers. Uh, I thought I saw him there. No, I was wrong. Okay, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Can we see him? He's so hard to find when your vault gets massive. Yeah, are we going to find him? I don't think we are. We're going to get the bing bong disappearing noise. Yep, there we go. He's gone. And I literally didn't see him at all. Okay, well, it is what it is. We just got some more radaways, which is always handy. Uh, let's put this guy into endurance wear and then put him back into the ghost costume. There we go. Okay, let's collect some water. And let's do some more leveling up, of course. Can't do anything without leveling up. There we go, level 13. Lucky for some, unlucky for others. Combat armor for you. Okay, right, we have 95 dwellers. Again, we still have some radiation. Some people that could probably do with a stim pack or two. Okay, Janet here is still uh, irradiated, so uh, let's get that cleared off. And keep going through. There we go, Chester Cheetah. Oh dear, Chester, you've got nuclear radiation damage, so we've got that cleared up for you. Especially as you're one of the audience. Okay, Janice, let's get you cleaned up with some Radaway. Okay, how are we doing? We've still got Axel Wood, Gene Hall, and somebody else that I didn't get the name of. Okay, that's you, a radiation free. You're radiation free. Let's just do this room. There we go. We've already done one, so that's now the entire room. And of course, collect our resources. Luckily, our power is coming back up, so that's good. And what we are going to do is blow up one of the power rooms and replace it with a nuclear reactor. But let's try a rush first. Hey, successful. Lovely. And a nice little cap bonus there as well, which is handy because we're going to be ripping out the power room and replacing it with a nuke reactor, which isn't exactly the cheapest room. So that's handy. We've now got over 10,000 caps. Lovely stuff. So let's move our dwellers around. Uh, that is full. Uh, so let's go all the way down here. 
Uh, yep, there, that'll do. And you as well. You can go to the nuclear reactor. There we go. And can we find some space anywhere else? We've got one more gap. Uh, how many are in there? No, that's a plus one. That is a zero. So what we might have to do is maybe dump this person into a training room. Uh, that's not full. So, oh, we let go of them. Okay, let's go back up. Drag again. Oh, and now we've got Bottle and Cappy as well. Fantastic. Okay, let's just put you in there for now. And demolish the room. Okay, yes we do. Right, so now it's destroyed. We are going to replace it with a nuclear reactor. Which, of course, will generate us more power. So there we go. There's one. There's two. And finally, last but not least, there's number three. Okay, and we are now only at 428 caps, so we have literally lost pretty much every cap we had. It is what it is, it's not the end of the world, let's just move some randoms in there, uh, pick another one here, and drag them up as well. Yeah, there we go, that'll do. We've kind of balanced it out, uh, I think that'll do for now. And again, collect all our resources, we've got Bottle and Cappy, so we want to try and click on them. There we go, there's some free caps, which is handy, seeing as we have none. Yeah, we didn't get that many from that. Let's hope Bottle is going to start doing a little dancey dance and we get some new Kaquantums, ideally. You'll notice he doesn't tend to dance anywhere near as often as Cappy, uh, and you do have to follow him like a hawk. See, there we go, Cappy's off dancing again. So there's some more free caps, and Bottle goes, Oh right, I'm not going to do anything now, because you just collected caps from Cappy. So there we go, we're up to 800 caps. Come on, Bottle, seriously, dude. You're, you're literally walking around like a nunu. Right. There we go. And back into your sports fan outfit. Come on, Bottle, dance. Dance, Bottle, dance. Dance, man, come on, dance, for the love of all that is holy. Please dance. No, you don't want to, do you? Because you are the most annoying in-game character in existence. Hey, he's dancing. And he gave us caps. How disappointing. Extremely disappointing. I wanted Quantums. Because on the Steam version of this game, the only way to get Quantums is quests, objectives, and of course, Bottle when he's in your vault. I guarantee you, now that we have clicked uh, Cappy twice and Bottle once, he will be exiting the vault. That's it, he's done. He's given us our little brief bit of happiness, and he's now going to vacate. So watch this, guaranteed, all the way up to the top and out. Oh, I can hear Cappy dancing. Where are you, Cappy? Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Actually, no, seeing as Bottle has not exited the building, Let's continue watching Bottle and hope that he dances again and gives us some quantums. Come on. Oh, actually, I'm bored. I think that might be them going, actually. No, 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 he's still not going. Okay, come on. Dance, Bottle, dance. Dance for us. Dance for us so we can get some quantums. Cappy, I don't care about your dancing. I only care about Bottle's dancing. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, there he is. He's dancing. Oh, it's just caps. Oh, well. However, we did have 400. We now have 1,563. So we did actually get a fairly reasonable amount of caps, uh, which is a good thing. So, not terrible. Not the end of the world. And we can swiftly move on. Cappy is dancing somewhere. Actually, I can hear the music. Mm, can't see him, but that's fine. We can try and keep watching Bottle. I doubt he's going to dance again, and now we've got a room on fire. Fantastic. Okay, are we going to be able to get people through in time? Let's find out. Before the fire spreads. Don't spread. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, you, run. You, run. You, run. You, also run. Okay, you guys, get back into where you were from. No, not there, just go that way. You, that way. Okay, I think that's probably enough to deal with it. Yep, and they're leaving the vault. Grrr. Right. Okie dokie then. Are you going to dance? Are you going to dance, Cappy? While our vault is on fire. 
Are you going to dance while our vault is on fire, or are you going to disappear into the night? You're going to disappear, I know you are. I don't know why I even asked the question. It was the definition of pointless. Okay, we've successfully beaten the fire, I think. Although it sounds like the place is still on fire. Nope, we've still got some people fighting the fire. Which also means we're not collecting resources. Let's throw this person in and done. So he gets free XP. Even though he done nothing to put out the fire. And there goes Cappy. Okay, so we dealt with a fair amount over the course of this episode, including technically expanding the vault by replacing a normal power plant with a nuclear reactor. So we now have three nuclear reactors across our vault, which means we can produce quite a lot of power. None of them have been upgraded yet, because of course the upgrade of a nuclear reactor is also very expensive. In fact, uh, at some point I will show you, but it's uh, a lot of caps that you need. Oh, that was Mysterious Stranger, wasn't it? Can we find him in time? Can we find him? Yes, there he is in the living quarters. 325 caps. Nice. That puts us back over 2,000 caps, which is lovely. Okay, keep collecting the power. Our bars are all full, nearly. Power has a little bit to go, but uh, we are nearly there. Whoops, okay, we just leveled that person up. Oh well, it happens. Okay, let's have a look at our objectives. Equip 30 dwellers with a weapon, and that will give us a nuke quantum. So what we should really be doing is just swapping over guns. Uh, right, let's go for fist. And then go back with the enhanced shotgun. There we go, that's 6 out of 30. And we'll just keep doing this. There we go. And again. Oh, we must have already done that person, because that didn't count. Okay, rusty sawn off, so we're at 9 out of 30. There we go, hunting rifle. Fist. Enhanced hunting rifle. We're at 11 out of 30. There we go. That's 12 out of 30. Again, this is a rinse and repeat process, as you can see, to so very quickly finish an objective. Just go through all of your characters and do what is needed. And in fact, what we probably will do is end this before I've done all 30, because it, to be honest, is a quite a long process. And uh, what we will probably do is cut that footage out. Uh, but there we go, fist, amplified, keep going. Enhanced. Next person. Fist. Hunting rifle. There you go. We're at 19 out of 30. Swap them over because they had a baseball bat. Uh, we're at 20 now. That's not bad. 10 to go. I think we should be able to get this done maybe before the end of the episode. Again. Fist. Rusty sawn off shotgun. We're at 22. We only need 8 more. Keep going, there we go, get rid of your laser pistol, go back, 24 out of 30, whoops, clicked on the wrong thing, lever action rifle, there we go, next power room, keep on trucking, oh, uh, yep, whatever, that'll do, 26 out of 30, okay, you can uh, have a rusty, there we go, that's it, nearly there, sawn off shotgun, 28, 2 to go, might as well do it before the end of this episode. Let's collect some resources. There we go. Swap over. Rusty. One more. Oh no, we've done it. There we go. Three quantums. Boom. What a good way to end the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Know It All Gaming. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Till next time, all it leaves me to say is good morning, good evening, good, good afternoon, good evening, and of course from me, Know It All Gaming, good night.